he's he's at uh, he's at the hospital now getting MRI and checked out and everything. But yeah, left oblique is what we have. Those typically don't heal quickly, even if it's not. Well, I'm not even going to start. Let's get the, you know, get what it looks like, let, what the strain is, all that, and then we'll see what the evaluation is. In your mind, is there any way he doesn't land on the injured list? Probably not, no. Where does that leave you as a team, then, as far as the outfield depth? Well, I mean, I, I mean, obviously the guys we have right now, and... Uh, um, and then we'll talk through um, how we want to go as far as uh, filling that spot of the roster in the meantime. But those will be conversations that we have now uh, moving forward over the next couple hours. He's such a huge part of this team, both offensively and defensively, just his presence alone. What type of a blow is that for the team? Uh, look, uh, it's Aaron Judge. I mean, he's he's one of the great players in the game. Um, you know, such a a key figure to our club um not only just between the lines obviously but what he means to us in the room and he'll be part of continuing to lead us forward um you know as a group where th this is not a time where we're going to feel sorry for ourselves we um you know we're coming off a, a good win today and that'll be the expectation tomorrow and it's another opportunity for another guy to do his job brendan <clears throat> Was this just off that swing, or had this happened sooner? No, it was just a swing. Yeah, first time he felt it. Joe? Aaron, I recognize as the leader you have to portray confidence, everything right. along those lines, but this is a significant run of injuries, especially now to position players. Mm -hmm. I wonder how you feel about that and feel about the survivability over an extended period when you have that. Right. Um, I, I truly feel like it's just going to make it that much sweeter, having gone through all this. Um, and we have a resilient group in there. Um, you know, we're getting plenty of good news uh, with players continuing to make progress as they work their way back. And... Uh, and we'll we'll find our way through this and uh that's uh, you know as i told aaron before he left it's it's going to make it all the much more sweeter uh when we get to where we want to go Dan. <clears throat> what was his mindset as you talked to him besides the obvious i, I mean obviously upset you know um you know he's he's the ultimate teammate you know so you know he feels bad for the guys no one uh but <clears throat> i also know he's as strong-minded as anyone we have in the that room and he'll deal with it and uh come in there tomorrow and and you know be one of the leaders of that club that that he always is and hopefully you know we get a decent enough news that you know it doesn't that it's shorter rather than longer and um but right now he's obviously a little upset and just uh, back to the game, uh, you being ejected there that, on that play. Yeah. What? What did they, were they able to tell you anything? Obviously, because of the review process. Yeah, not much. I mean, you know, obviously you can't go out and argue a review. I totally understand it's not their call. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know how bad of a call I thought it was, or just, you know, I mean, taking a three-run homer off the board in that, you know, in that spot. Um, on what a, would have been a miracle catch in my eyes so uh, you know but I, I i understand the call and i understand the ejection and and i don't you know i just i was i was pretty upset uh, all the way in the back right aaron given the hits to the depth can you talk about the importance the significance of guys like urshela frazier and talkman stepping it up and producing critical and and they've all uh you know i think i said yesterday and continue to varying degrees have really taken advantage of those opportunities and those guys have been instrumental in us winning ball games and will continue to be um and <clears throat> truly believe that you know those guys playing meaningful roles here in important games will serve us well down the road joel Aaron, I recognize some of it is freak, but an oblique strain, some strains, 
etc. Have you lost any faith in training, medical, for your group at this point when you lose so many in so many different ways? No. Um, no, and, and I know how much we pour into it, you know, as far as studying it, trying to understand it, um, trying to keep our guys healthy strong fit flexible all these things that a lot of a lot of people pour a lot of time in so uh, you know i do believe a lot of it is kind of happenstance and just you know very unfortunate obviously but and it doesn't mean that we won't continue to vid vigilantly kind of assess how we do things how we treat guys how we approach that never stops um and but but no as far as my confidence and in, in in our in our guys and that hasn't changed dave and then Henri. there and there are some players like like judge that other guys look in the clubhouse and say no matter what happens as long as we have him to kind of look to we'll be okay right. do you recognize that kind of psychological void for a team like that especially relying on a lot of young players like that too yeah um i don't want to understate how important aaron is to to our team you know and not even talking about between the lines but he will continue to be a presence um and i feel like our guys are very resilient we've had to deal with a lot of adver adversity already and and we will embrace this opportunity to go out and perform and it's not about anyone else trying to do more than they're capable of. It's it's go do your job, and that's the expectation. And we can win games doing that. Henry, Aaron, um, Massa didn't look sharp as as much as you know he has been. What made him to go through the seven innings today? Really impressive, because I, I I agree. He, in a lot of ways, it was a struggle for him today. You know, um, split wasn't really there for him that much. Um, you know, command was in and out a little bit, but he pitched uh, and made pitches. And he, he's great as his craft, as I always like to say. And uh, for him to get through like he did seven innings today, I think he walked a couple guys in that first inning, makes a great play on a bunt um, to kind of help him along. And then to go pitch that strong for seven innings is a tribute to um, just how good a pitcher he is and and even when he's not at his best that he can still compete at a very high level which he did today